Hi, this is Jenny from FAP, and this is your low impact cardio and strength circuit workout. Thank you so much for joining me today. All you'll need for your workout is a chair, a set of light hand weights, and have water nearby. Let's get started right away with a warm up. Go ahead and join me in a march as we check in with our posture. From the side, please make sure you're drawing your chin back so that you've aligned your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips, and your hips over your heels. And we're gonna to try to maintain good posture throughout our workout today. Begin to march wide, and then march narrow. Take your feet out wide, and then bring them back in. Two more times, please. March wide, and then narrow. And last one. March wide, march narrow. Begin to reach your arms up overhead and pull the elbows down and back. Reach overhead and pull. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale, pull down. And one more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Roll the shoulders down the back a couple of times. March your feet out wide. One more time, please and then settle into this wide stance. Slide your hips back into a squat as you reach your arms forward, and then circle the arms back. Three, two, one. Let's try that again. Sink into a squat, reach forward, stand tall as you press through the heels, circle the arms back. We'll do that a few more times. Squat, reach, arm circles. Last one. Sit back and squat, reach, and then circle the arms. Three, two, and one. Right into a hamstring curl. Press the hips forward as you curl the heel into the back side of the body. Draw the shoulders down the back, reset your posture, bring the ears back over the shoulders, and if you'd like to, give me a little chest press with your hamstring curl. Just like that. We're just taking a few minutes to elevate the temperature of the body, to warm up the joints and muscles, and really to prevent injury. We all want that. Four more. Last one, and take it to a pivot step. Just begin to rotate from the hips, feel the shoulders, Twist into the direction you're twisting. Lift the heel. Just for eight. Last four. And one. All right, I hope you're feeling warmed up, I am. We're gonna start with a cardio circuit. Three exercises we'll go through two times, about 40 or 45 seconds of work and then active recovery for 15 seconds. All right, let's begin. Separate your feet nice and wide. Reach your right arm up, way up. And then we're gonna sit, sit back into a squat and try to touch just as far as you can on that left leg. So I'm reaching towards my ankle inside. Here we go. We're getting into it right away. Make sure your back stays nice and flat as you hinge your hips back. Keep the knees behind the toes. Good work. You've got about four, reach. Last two, and one more, and march to recover. Inhale the shoulders up, down, and around. Good work, we're, we're gonna get ready for that. Second of three exercises. We'll begin right leg forward, left leg back. We've got a knee repair with a little twist. Here's the twist. I mean, it's an actual twist. That's it. So you've got your knee right above the ankle on that right side. You're pulling in that back knee and rotating into that knee, little twist. Good work. 
Keep the chest proud and lifted and the eyes up. Feeling strong and supported on that right leg. You sense the heel and also the ball of the foot on the floor. Really strong, strong ankle and knee. Three, two, and one. Good work, march it out. Very nicely done. All right, we've got a little bit of a quick feet action next. We're gonna start leading with your right leg. Out, out, in, in, like this. Out, out, in, in. But can you take it a little quicker? So right leg steps out, out, in, in, like this. Good work. Again, keep the chest lifted, keep the shoulders relaxed. Quick feet, quick feet. Got a little agility move for you right here. Very nicely done. Just about 10 seconds left. Deep inhales, nice long exhales. Two more times. And last one, good work. March to recover. We're gonna repeat that sequence, accenting the left side. So step your feet out wide. Once again, feet are nice and wide. Reach that left arm up, way up. And then slide the hips back and reach towards the inside of your right, maybe ankle. Maybe for you today, it's knee. Maybe it's calf. Wherever you are, you're working, you're moving, getting those joints going, muscles working, improving our bone density, getting that lymphatic system working. Three, two, and last one. Down and up, and march to recover. Good work. Reset the shoulders. We're gonna set up on that left leg for our knee repeater with a twist, a literal twist. Here it is. Pull the knee in, just like that. Rotate the shoulders to the right as you pull that right knee in. Good work, good work. You're doing fantastic. So for this workout, we have two cardio circuits and two strength circuits. You're nearly done with the first cardio circuit. Here we go. Fantastic work. Keep drawing the shoulders down the back. You got three, two, and one. All right. March to recover. Take a deep inhale and let your exhales be even longer than your inhales. All right. You've got out, out, in, in. Left leg leads. Out, out, in, in. And take this at a pace that works for you. And if you feel like you need to, you can look down at your feet. That's okay. That's okay. Feel my ponytail swing in the, the breeze here. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in. Such good work, such good work. Keep the feet nice and quick. Notice you can barely hear my landings. Focus on having really soft, soft landings. No thumping, no thudding. Good work, three, two, and one, and march to recover. Nicely done. Grab a drink if you need it. I do. Let your heart rate come down. And we are moving into a strength circuit. I've got two five pound dumbbells, whatever you have, uh, whether it's hand weights or Soup cans, whatever you have. I'm sure that will work for you. All right, I'm gonna bring the weights right in front of my heart. <clears throat> and my goal here 
is to just tap my seat, tap my seat on my chair, press through my heels, stand tall, and then press the hips forward at the top and really squeeze, squeeze the glutes. Your breath here is inhale down, exhale up. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Here you really want to avoid allowing the knees to collapse together. Really strive to keep the knees tracking over what would be about your second or third toe. Two more, just two more. Inhale down, exhale, press up. And last one. And have a seat, have a seat. Relax your shoulders down the back. For a set of bicep curls seated, but let's make sure that even in the seated position, we're working our postural muscles. As we sit up nice and straight and tall, all the muscles around the spine are working to maintain that upright posture. Bring the chin back, draw the shoulders down the back, engage your abdominals slightly, and then just give me a nice hammer curl. So my palms are facing each other. And then making sure to find length all the way, I'm releasing all the way down to the bottom, and then curling up without momentum. So I'm just using the bicep muscle to bring the weights up to about shoulder height. My feet are about hip distance. And I'm really, really striving to maintain my upright posture. And we'll do about three. Exhale to lift two. And last one. And release. Good work. I'm going to set one of my weights down. So I'm only holding one weight. I'm going to reset my posture, draw my shoulders down my back, bring the chin back, ears line up over shoulders, and now I'm going to just press the weight overhead. That's it. I'm just going to press the weight overhead. And here I know um, sensitive shoulders really come into play here. So for you today, pressing the weight overhead might not be right. I would love for you to work on reaching overhead if pressing weight overhead is not going to work for you today. Because we do want to maintain mobility in our joints. Exhale, press three. You've got two. And last one. Good work. All right. Bring your weight to a vertical position. Draw the shoulders down the back. We're gonna think about abdominal strength as we stir the pot. I'll call it stir the pot. We're gonna bring the weight away from the body. And as you do that, you'll really notice you've got to brace through your core. So that is squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your abdominals in. But still, we're maintaining that upright posture Let's reverse, let's reverse this action. Stir the pot. Not that any of you out there are actually pot stirrers, right? I'm sure you're all peacemakers. Three, two, and last one. All right, good work. We're gonna repeat that strength circuit. So, if you'd like to grab your other weight for a set of squats, and as long as we're down here, we'll start our squat series from a seated position. Bring your feet out slightly. Make sure that as you stand tall, the knees don't collapse in. We often um, will kind of use that leverage of the knees to stand tall, but we wanna maintain really healthy joints and use the, the right muscles to stand up. So try to align your knees right over the toes, press through the heels, you might need to um, sling, not sling, bring the shoulders forward slightly, create a little bit of momentum. Good work. Have a seat and stand up. So 
such an important human movement pattern. We're practicing it right here, right now. We've added some weight, some resistance. So when you are sinking down in your deep fluffy chair later on, and you gotta pick yourself up out of it, you'll just spring right up. Two more. And last one. Press and slowly lower. Good work. Hang out down here for me. Relax your shoulders down the back. We've got another set of bicep curls. And I was feeling really good with those hammer curls earlier, so let's do that again. You've gotten a lot of length of the arm. Now curl up, curl up. Inhale, exhale, curl up. Now as we've gone along, it's been a few minutes since I reminded you about your posture. So posture check right here. Bring that chin back slightly. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over ribs and hips. Your shoulders are drawing down and back. You've got an awareness of your abdominals. And your rib cage is, is not lifted. You're squeezing your abdominals and that sort of causes the rib cage to come a little closer to the hips. Three. Curl up two. And last one. And slowly lower. Good work. Set one weight down again. We're going to press this weight overhead once again, only if pressing weight overhead is right for you. It's right for your shoulders, is right for the condition of your spine. We've all got a history of accidents, injuries, surgeries that limit our movement, and that's okay. We do want to keep moving though. We've got to keep moving. But we might need to make some adjustments. Three. Two. And last one. Press. Good work. All right, bring the weight into a vertical position once again for our pot stir, stir the pot. Use the abdominals, but guess what? You're using your shoulders. You're using your upper back. Lots happening here. Good work, good work. Let's reverse this, let's reverse. Feel free to set your weight down at any time and just continue going through the motion, just using your body's own weight. Three. And last one. Good work, all right. Let's stand for our second cardio circuit. I'm gonna bring my chair out of the way three exercises once again that we'll go through two times, about 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. All right, let's begin right now. Separate your feet wide, and this is the action. We're gonna cross touch knee, touch knee, hamstring curl, same side, heel, heel, same side. Let's go. Knee, knee, same side, heel, heel. Opposite knee, knee, same side, heel. Heel, that's it. So we've got a little bit of coordination going on here. We're spending some time on one leg, but moving fairly quickly to elevate the heart rate. Good work, keep going, keep going. And heel, heel, cross the body, knee, knee. Good work. Remember, only 45 seconds of work and then we get a little active recovery. Last one, knee, knee, and heel, heel. 
heel. Good work. Step touch to recover. Step touch for your active recovery this time. Deep inhale. Nice long exhale. All right. Here's your second exercise. It's a full body extension. Bring your feet under your hips. Here we go. Slide the hips back and then reach the arms up as you press the hips forward. That's it, right there. Some of you will join me and lift the heels up. Full body extension. So you're becoming a little teeny tiny version of yourself and then a huge version of yourself right here. Pow, yes. Keep going, keep going. Moving a lot of you here. A lot of you is moving. Definitely elevating the heart rate as you reach the arms up. Here we go, here we go. Four. Last two. And one. Step touch to recover. Good work. Very nicely done. All right. One more. Exercise in our cardio circuit. And then we'll repeat the circuit. I'm gonna call this the rope pull. We're gonna get into the arms, the shoulders, the obliques a little bit. Reach both arms up. Now, go ahead and even look up. After you see what I'm doing, we're just imagining you're pulling yourself. You're pulling yourself up a rope. And squeeze the side body as you pull the elbow down. And can you move a little quicker? Here we go, pull, pull, pull. That's it, keep going, keep going. Reach and pull, pull the rope. Here we go, here we go, you got it. You're almost there, you see the light, here it is. Four, three, two, and one. Side step to recover. Roll the shoulders down the back, good work. All right, one more time through that cardio circuit. Do you remember we stepped our feet out wide? It was knee touch, knee touch across, heel touch, heel touch behind. Let's go. Touch the knee, touch the knee, touch the heel, and heel. I hope you're feeling good by this point in the workout. I'm feeling great. And heel touch, and heel touch. And it's so great to combine cardio and strength in a workout. I just love that. It's for sure my favorite way to work out. Knee touch, knee touch, heel touch. Side to side. Now yours might not look just like mine, that's okay. Just keep moving, keep lifting the knee up. Keep pulling the heel in. One more. Heel touch, heel touch. Side step to recover. Roll the shoulders down the back. Good work. All right. Perhaps my favorite, favorite piece of work in this whole exercise, this whole workout, the um, full body extension. Full body extension. Feet under the hips, shoulders relaxed. Slide the hips back, reach the arms back, and then up. And press the hips forward, and maybe just maybe lift the heels up. As you hinge the hips back, maintain that nice long spine. And can you pick up the pace? Let's try it out, pick up the pace. Maybe just a little down and up. Remember you're finding the, just the biggest version of yourself at the top. Reach, reach, that's it. Getting into the calves and ankles too, I love it. Just three, two, last one. Good work. Side step to recover. Deep inhale. Let the chin open up. Exhale. Even a nice long exhale. All right. Pull the rope. There we go. Pull the rope. Separate your feet. Reach your arms up. And maybe, maybe even look up. And pull. And squeeze the side body. Reach and pull. So important to keep Getting those arms up and overhead. How are you doing? How are you doing? Side to side. Working through the midsection. Keep going, keep going. You got this. 
I've got soft knees, not pucking out my knees, feeling firm and steady and strong in this position. Nice wide stance for four, three, two, and last one. Oh yeah, we made it. We made it. Climb out of that hole. Good work. All right, if you'd like, grab another quick drink as your heart rate comes down. If your drink is on the floor like mine, please keep your head over your heart as you grab that drink. We've got another set of strength. And then a little cool down stretch and you'll be on with your day. All right. So to begin, we've got a wide turned out stance. We've got a three pulse plie squat, and then you just squeeze the inner thighs to stand tall and repeat. Three pulse plie squat, and then draw everything to the midline of the body. Three pulse, squeeze up. At the top, I would love it if you would really engage the quads, lift the kneecaps up. Again, we're thinking about our posture. If you have tight inner thighs, yours might look more like a sumo squat. And that's wonderful, that's fantastic. Keep that chin back. Keep drawing the shoulders down the back. This is our three pulse plie squat. You're doing great. I'm resting just my fingertips on the back of my chair, so I'm not gripping the back of my chair. I'm just allowing just this, this um, the action of making connection with my fingertips on the back of the chair to help me reorient and keep my posture upright and help me balance. And last one. And stand tall, good work. Bonus, if you're feeling it, sink back into your plie squat. Draw the shoulders down the back. Can you lift your right heel up, hold here, and lower. Can you lift your left heel up, hold here, and lower. All right, bonus, bonus. Can you lift two heels up, hold here. Can you float one, maybe two arms off? Oh boy, how are you doing? Lower the heels, lengthen the legs, stand tall, heel to your feet, underneath your hips, good work, all right. Grab your weights. Make your way to a seated position. Draw your shoulders down the back. Bring your heels right underneath your knees for a set of bent arm, bent arm, lateral to front raise. So you open the elbows to shoulder height and then you bring the elbows in front to shoulder height, right here. And I notice, especially as the weights come out in front, for me, I've really got to engage my abdominals. You're doing wonderful. Keep working, keep moving. If it felt like a bit too much to do your arms together, you can always do one at a time. That's fine. Do your right arm, then your left arm. Alternate side to side. No problem. Let's all do one more. Nicely done. And set the weight down. Set the weight down. I'm going to orient my chair in this way for an elevated plank, an inclined plank. So shift your body weight forward so that your shoulders are over your wrists. My hands are right in the center of my chair and I'm feeling really stable and strong and supported here. If you'd like to join me, step out one leg and then the other and create a long, long plank. So from the top of your head, through your hips, all the way down through your heels, hold your plank, squeeze your abdominals in, push, push the seat of the chair away, 
And this is a really nice planking option when you just don't feel like you want to plank on the floor. Squeeze the abs in. Close the distance between that bottom rib and the hips for three. To come out of it, walk the feet in and round up. Relax your shoulders down the back. Good work. We're going to repeat this strength circuit one more time through and then a little stretch. So again, your feet are wide and turned out and you almost need to pull the knees back a little bit. So really working through inner and outer thighs, quads two, pulse down for three and then stand tall and imagine you want to draw, draw your legs to the midline, to the center of the body but your feet are staying put. Squeeze up, pulse down, three, two, one. Great time for a posture check. Bring that chin back, relax the shoulders down the back, chest is nice and lifted and open, no rounding through the upper back. Again, if you've got tight inner thighs, it's fine to slide the seat back and turn it into more of a sumo squat. Feel on the legs, feel on the legs. Hope you are too. Two more times, please. And last one, pulse three, two, one. Squeeze up and here's your bonus. Can you lift that left heel up and lower? Stay low on the legs. Lift that right heel up. You're doing great. And lower. Can you lift both heels up? Hold, hold, hold. Perhaps float the hands off of your support. Relax the shoulders. Replace the hands. Lower the heels. Stand tall and bring your feet back under your hips. Heel toe, heel toe. Very, very nicely done. All right. Again, grab your weights. We've got another set of bent arm lateral to front raise. So I've created two 90 degree angles at my elbow joints. I'm going to lift the elbows to shoulder height-ish and then press the weights in front. That's it. And once again, really notice as the weights come out in front, you've got to squeeze the abdominals. Lift and lower. Maintain that upright posture. Doing such a good job today. And we'll go through one more time. Lateral shoulder to front shoulder raise. Release, set the weights down for your final plank. Final plank. So I'm first making sure I'm in a very stable, supported position by bringing my hands right underneath my shoulders, right on the center of the chair. So I'm not at the edge of the chair, I'm right in the middle. And then I step one leg back and then the other. And here I am in plank. And there you are in plank. Can you engage the muscles of the quadricep muscles? So kind of lift the kneecaps up, push, push, push the chair away, and maybe even squeeze the glutes a little. Squeeze your abs in. We won't be here long, I promise. Try not to drop the chin. I mentioned that because I noticed I was just doing it. I'm teaching myself here too, you know. Keep going, keep going, hold here four. Last two, soften the knees, walk the feet in, round up. Relax the shoulders down the back. Good work, good, good work. All right, I'm gonna use the chair for a little extra support as I stretch. Can you catch the top of that right foot and if you say, no, that's not going to happen.
happen today. That's okay. Just step the right leg back, press the hips forward, and bend both knees. Either way. Feel lengthening of the hip flexor and quadricep on the front of the leg. Release that as you bring that right leg around, slide the hips back and kind of catch the heel on that right side and curl your toes up, curl your toes up. So once again, you've got your support here, slide the hips back, feel lengthening of that hamstring muscle. Keep the shoulders relaxed. in, we'll switch sides. So once again, catch the top of the foot or slide the leg back, press the hips forward and bend both knees for a quad or hip flexor stretch. If you've got the foot in your hand, try to think of bringing the knee down towards the floor. wants to pop out in front, but we're trying to squeeze the back glute and bring the knee right down towards the floor. Stay here just another moment. Release this side and bring the leg around, slide the hips back as you kind of dig the heel in, curl the toes up, slide the hips back. You've got support here to help you balance. So we're in a pretty narrow position here. It might be challenging to maintain balance in this position. And then feel a lengthening of that left hamstring. Step your feet together. Let's inhale your arms up, catch your right wrist, and maybe give it a gentle tug as you Lengthen the right side of the body, little side body stretch. Reach your arms up, drop your shoulders down the back. As you catch the opposite wrist, give it a little gentle tug, if it's right for you today, just a gentle tug. Reach both arms up, float your arms down. Draw the shoulders up, down and around, and then bring one arm across the body, and hug that arm in towards yourself. Try to drop that shoulder down the back. And then open your arms wide, thumbs back, palms up. Stretch through the chest and biceps. And now bring that opposite arm across, drop the shoulder down the back, shoulder stretch on this side. time. Open the heart, lift the eyes, open the throat, thumbs back, palms up. Eyes forward, release the arms to the side of the body. Let's close this class, this workout. Inhale, both arms reach up and over. Exhale, hands to heart center. Our symbol of gratitude and I'm very thankful for you. Good work today. Try this workout again another time or go back to the Pelican Athletic Club um, YouTube page for all kinds of wonderful workouts. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.